Hey guys, Quick Rincho, Roshi is here. Today we're taking a look at Fog. And one thing I wanted to do differently than my usual videos is I'm actually going to show you some of the tuning process I go through and just kind of how I end up with the memes you see and the deck tech and the gameplay videos. So this is a continuation of my old Fog deck. It's really fun, uh, pretty solid, and just a, a good way to cruise around the throne ladder. So. Check it out, uh, the first game starts about 8 minutes in, if you want to just skip ahead to that. Uh, it's really fun, long, interactive game against the Xenon Reanimator list. The game takes forever, but uh, it's pretty amusing to watch. Anyway, I just wanted to change things up a bit, always trying different things. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is interesting, and maybe a, a cool way that I can return to some brews from the past and just kind of show how I go about tuning them for new metas and different strategies. Thank is. you for watching. What will we change? I'm playing Equalize. Maybe we play some like ramp? Instead of like Temple Scribe. Temple Scribe seems mediocre here. Although it does trigger Onslaught. Maybe that's why I was running it. Moondial seems poop. We cannot run Moondial. Um Probably need distillations. Maybe there's something I can play over Temple Scribe. Maybe just some relic weapons. What do you even want? Relic, weapon. Do I want something cheap? Or like something beefy? This would be like a few knives. A few great swords. That's some pillars. I don't know if Grodov's burden's correct at all. Move Grodov's burden to the market. Lay more pillars. Um. I don't know if we're a Lumen Reclaimer deck. Grodov. Burden. Oh, actually, yeah, we wouldn't even need Lumen Reclaimer. We could just play Mave. How the hell do I make room for Mave? Probably want Harsh Roll. Probably want Edict. How often do I really even want Pit of Lenecta? I mean, it's great. Just like... We've got main deck shit. Let's cut this. We'll play Maeve. I guess Passage isn't great right now. You're probably right. But... I, I'm not sure Pit of Lenecta is much better. Whatever. Um, Do I want more Relic Weapons? We play some cheap shit. We don't really have anything we want to broker. Like, none of this is, like, prime broker real estate. 
We are 50-50 against Stone Scar with this, but we've been changing the deck as we go. So, that's something. The deck's kind of just been evolving as we play. I think we could play something other than Val. Let's cut this time sigil. Cut the vowels. Just play banners. Now we like straight up every single power enters and gives us justice. Except for pillar. Oh, uh, and I think we cut one of these distillations. I want another Grodov's Burden. We just need some, like, meat and potatoes for the mid game. Mid to, like, late game. And, like, I never want to take the time to play Distillation, but Grodov's Burden's usually, like, gonna pop something. I still like Distillation, I just don't know if I like four. I shall cap. Also, anyone who is interested in playing hero, I know I kind of just have been no-lifing the ladder tonight. But uh, once this uh, next throne event pops off, and we've got that kind of behind us, I'll probably uh, be playing a lot more of it. But uh, I, I do want to try and secure some QCP points. So I've just been kind of testing, hoping to find something good. I don't know if it's this. This has been doing actually better than everything else, but we'll see what ends up happening. Oh no, they're gonna know! They're gonna know! But yeah, if you are interested in playing games of uh, Hero, though, just hop on the Discord. I'm trying to set it up so that people can just hop in and battle it out whenever they want. Even though I myself just have, like, zero free time. Uh, what is in their market? Oh, or Void. Oh, crap. We've got... We've got a problem. Um... I guess I'll just play, like, Copper Hall here. I actually have to wait to use this just to dodge any few further delinquents. I might play one next turn, though. Is he playing against Mono Shadow, or is he just not drawing a Zen and stuff? I feel like we would have seen more Zenin If he was on it. QCP points, if you have 75 of them, you get three buys, which are just three free wins. And the, uh, they have like a big tournament that comes around. He's just on Mono Shadow Reanimator. That's something I have never seen before. I so I just grab harsh roll and save it for later? I don't think so. I think we grab Maeve.
Mave's kind of lame, but maybe she gets it done. Yeah, this player. Shuffle some potatoes into my deck. That's not a weapon. Well, they don't have an answer to Mave. We might get to do some stuff pretty soon here. They are totally zen in chat. I've been lied to. <laughs> Everything's a lie. I forgot I wanted to cut a forest or a justice. Sorry, not a forest for a uh, banner. No! They have any power in there? Oh, they have one Shadow Sigil? Huh. Well, that's kind of exactly what we needed to see, honestly. There's another one! Is there? Oh, uh, I thought I thought there was another freaking Sadidi on top, but I'm like, I'm 100% playing that. It was just like DJ Khaled again. Another one. Another one. Here it comes. Here it comes! Oh boy. Oh lord, they coming. Duty comes. How about new? Oh yeah, power up bay. We don't block here because we want to draw a card with curse. And if we, if we block, damage is dealt, and then we don't draw a card. Just in case you're wondering. You're wondering why. Why we did that. Um, what's in their market void? They got some stuff. I guess it wouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't know if I want to equalize here. Let's just draw three. Maybe we hit like a Shenra Speaks? No. And we'll just end the turn. Play another fog. They hit a Zindel this time. Nah, they got a catcher though. That's pretty good. How about no? Look how chonky this Paralabby smuggler's getting. Maximum chonk. Nice damage. Can't stop the chonk.
Uh, it's probably correct to grab harsh roll here. Don't know if I will. Let's go here. Probably just grab chains here. And then, uh, play this. Then we play, play equalize here. My verdict is survey says we have two pillars, so Stormhalt knife is actually enough to trade with Avara. I'm gonna get rid of a Justice Sigil here, cause uh, actually we'll do Massive Greatsword. I'll just play this. Finish off the Vara, hopefully. That doesn't do what you think it does. That is not ambush. Oh, that does something though. See what they grabbed. Wonder if they even have any other five drops. Yeah, maybe I should have grabbed a uh, harsh roll there. I say as I die. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? They just grab their thing if they're smart. Well, we're not dead. Um, yeah, I suppose I don't really play a power here, because, like, nothing short of a board wipe saves us, so it just doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. Maybe they just deck themselves. Funny how this game started with us speculating they're on Mono Shadow Reanimator. Okay, they're doing stuff. They're playing cards and doing things, chat. How many Shenra Speaks are left in our deck? How about no? Let's see, we have three equalize and four Shenra speaks left. Broker, that's cool. Nice. 
place. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So I have one left in my deck? Or is there one in the market? Eight? Oh! So we actually have to hit this one. I don't have any left. Uh, I'll do Harsh Troll here. That's good to know. And I suppose I'll just ignore these. Hopefully they only play one minion this time. Xenon Temple? Uh, they're gonna grab a freaking Silverblade Menace and just kill us eventually, right? So maybe I can kind of like guess what they grabbed. Curtain Call? I guess it was Curtain Call. Alright, ya boy, get thick. 10-8, let's go. Drawing cards, playing spells. We in this. He's an 810 now. Oh, Zindel coming down. Um. Yeah, I just slam into this, uh, sh this here site. Yeah, we were out of sigils. I'm so glad I made that call. So now we just go... Pillar. Uh, I actually don't think I play Equalize here. We'll just Shenra Speaks. I think we hold the power as well. Give us those cards. We're at 40 cards in our deck. Ooh. Not opting not to discard there. That's that's a weird move, chat. We'll see if it pays off. I think we draw three here, though, because we can just play lands to kill this guy. So we don't really need to don't really need to equalize here. I still have my chains, right? Yeah. What is happening? Am I lagging out? Did I just like lose connection? You still there chat? You hear me? Can you hear me now? We are lagging like crazy. What are they doing? Um, so yeah, we'll go Insignia, just kill this. It's free real estate. I think the Xenon Temple actually trolls them more than it helps them. Curtain Call, huh? Uh, do we still attack anyway? I suppose I don't need another curse. I just yeet this guy in play, I think. All of our stuff's just, like, better than theirs. I just, like, play this and skip. I don't really want anything. 
Maybe we, uh... Equalize is kind of our last hope to not die, but we could put a lot of pressure on our opponent by doing this. Let's get rid of power. Grab silver blade. We'll just do this. I just want as much uh, as much pressure as I can can get. So we can end this game. <laughs> I think they brokered Curtain Call. Which is an interesting choice. I'll block with my 2319. Someone is lagging like crazy, and I don't think it's me. So this is a lethal attack. Wait. Now it's definitely a lethal attack. Yeah, pretty much cheese. How the hell do we win that game? This dude needs to put Silverblade Menaces in his market. <laughs> Um, I think, considering our hand, we just minus this. I don't really need two Sadidis. Forgot I was supposed to split up the power base a little bit. Or the markets. We don't need this, do we? No. Nope, nope, nope. I could do this. But uh, I don't think we do. Save it for a more impactful turn later. Good old Princess Diana. It's fun against aggro, because like even if they kill her, you just negate like their whole last attack. Go ahead and do this. Fight me, you coward! Uh this guy is super funny with fogs. That's why we're playing him. Cause like you just fog and then no damage happens. And if they don't, like, do a spell or something, it's just, like, free. Silver Blade seems kind of funny here. So, like, we get to play Enter the Monastery, puts an untapped power into play, and we have Silver Blade back up now? I guess that's a thing? that we can do now? Maybe that was the correct ad. That seems sufficiently obnoxious. Guy Kragro.
Man sucks. That's kinda better. Wish we had another time. Guess we ramp a little bit, but we might just be grabbing just the sigils of this. Oh, what the hell? Big what the hell. Give me an untapped time. Actually, it could be tapped. I want to I want a time. Time. Oh. Yes, we play this. I'll hang on to that justice etchings. Might be firing off a really wimpy equalize here. The kind of equalize that makes me discard. Oh, wow. Yep. My verdict is... As a discard... Guess we discard just these sigils. I am taking four here. Hey, big draws. We're taking four and we're gaining it right back. A new face. Grenadine? Ooh. I'm into it. Fight back, you coward. Or Argent Port. For killing our opponent's shit. Oh. That spicy invoke. So yeah, this. Hey, win versus mono. He said he was struggling to get 200 games. I think I get about that in a week. So if I just fill out all of my stuff, I can just kind of single-handedly fill out his chart for him every week. If I like keep up with it. It's kind of tedious, but like, you know, maybe, maybe it'll pay off. Patholo, Xenon. My plan against my deck, is this my punishment for making this deck? We're ramping hardcore though here, this is nice. Freaking pillar into enter, oh yeah. We're going to the freaking moon, chat. We are ramping all the way to the moon. Okay, if he's playing Vara's Favor and Pill of Power Stone, he is not playing. <laughs> this is not. This is not Talir combo. It is not Talir combo. Even Xenon. Neato. Oh, he's freaking ramping. I'm about to eat like a uh, a Zindle to the face. I should probably play as if I'm about to eat an Zindle to the face. Get some blockers on the board. Ooh, we want to avoid a Zindle next turn. 
How sad do you think they'll be if they're just like, here's my Azindel and we audacious ruse? Like, oh man. We're holding this up. Oh. Eh. Hello. Um. Get that off the board. Just attack with him here. Get the Hami. Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> I'm a DJ Khaled chat. DJ Khaled. Another one. Oh. Curses. Flailed again. Did you go to the market for that? Maybe you did it earlier. Aya. Another one. I probably should have scouted first. How dumb am I gonna feel when I bottom this and then there's just a Sadidi on top? But uh, I'm not bottoming that. <laughs> nope. No sir. Oh. Do I not get the Entomb either? Oh, I do. Defile makes no sense to me. Oh, we're playing against a Severn deck? That's cute. Chat, who's ready? He's just like, oh yeah, look at this attack. This is so good. I, I got this. And I'm just like, nah, dog. I mean, I don't know if we win this game from here, but we're just like, can you won't, and then, you know, pass the turn. Massive greatsword. Now his attacks are super bad. Oh, now his attacks are getting a little better. Nocturnal Creeper. You can only attack with this. Ouch. Oh, he's just ignoring the greatsword? Neat. I guess he has to. We lost our thing, though. Another one. Is we attack with Diana? Cause uh Sadidi's the better blocker. Another one. Fight back, you coward! Just saying, I'd let Diana touch my boon. I probably shouldn't say that. Diana, bring me a boon. Can we... can you won't? I'm gonna need a Grodov's Burden like freaking yesterday.
A freaking Sadidi goon squad. Just straight gooning. <laughs> Actually use, like, Black Sky Harbinger. Used to enable them to, like, draw cards off of us. Even if we're, like, playing Fogs. But the problem is we can eventually, like, run out of steam. Like, that kind of sucks. What's in here? Catras and Broker. Uh Hi ya Okay. Well, guess we lose. So I play this. Um We actually kill the these guys. Because if we kill this he sabotages us and we just like die. And we just hope they don't have a reanimation spell. And if they do have it, we hope we draw out of it. Like, that's kind of where we're at. Is it just one Azindal? Yeah, it's just one Azindal right now. Their board will get absolutely out of control. But we can eventually draw a Shenra Speaks or an Equalize. If they don't have it this turn, though, we have a chance. Looking like a negative Ghost Rider. I wish they would do that a little slower. So I don't have to like click every time. So it's double as Indol now. And we literally drew the power for Godov's Burden right there. That's lovely. End our turn here. See if they go for it. Honestly, might be correct to let this one hit me if they do. I hope they just literally have nothing. Just like ramping into nothing, just as we are. Akaria? Alright, I'm into it. Ooh. So, we play Maeve. Right? Or do I just go for chains here? Um... Let's go for Maeve. And just hope they draw nothing. We can both just casually ramp into nothing. Hey. Hit to keep this in case we start hitting our Sadidis or something. Probably play Maeve though, regardless. Nice try. Nice try. We don't attack. Hopefully we draw something.
Help. I need a top deck help. Not just any top deck help. I need a top deck help. They bottomed that. They bottomed that too. Hey. Big draw. Now we're styling. Oh! Not only does Daniel like turtles, but we're just ripping Sadidi off the top, chat. Massive alpha pog here. Fight back, you coward! Catra. They got some power. No blocks. Can't let that wreck me yet. Uh, this just gives me a card. Thank you, Maeve. Oh. Spicy. That's one spicy meatball. Uh, do I just like proactively attack into this? I almost never want this Sicaria to die though. Let's... Let's do this. Let's be reborn. Fight back, you coward! Oh, we bottomed that. This is a weird-ass game. We were, like, kinda ready for them to pop off, but we weren't ready for them to just do nothing. It was very unfortunate for them. All I do is guess you can, Needle. Just like keeping everything on top. Kind of funny. Rakano. Um, do I keep Grodov's burden here? I'm thinking we keep it. Let's grab, uh... I guess Edict of Kodosh.
Hmm, maybe I just play Diana here. Try and hit our fifth power. Yeah, I suppose Grodov's burden was kind of dumb to keep. But we didn't know we were just going to rip Shenra Speaks off the top either. We'll see what happens. Hooray for Silverblade Intrusion! Yeah, I was supposed to turn this, keep the justice, and get rid of this. This was dumb. Hopefully we uh, draw power or something. Nope. Um. Well. Rude. Nice. Now our audacious ruse actually does something. I wonder if they know what we're up to. Oh. Hiya. Nice two damage attack, nerd. Anyway. Let's see what's on top of our deck. I'll keep Diana. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. The funny part about that, too, is if they did have anything with Aegis, we would have blown it off with the Audacious Ruse and then, like, been able to harsh roll. Cleanly. I suppose we would have taken more damage. We probably are just dead to a plundered trick shot, though. We don't hold up Copper Hall just kind of forever. Do I just, like, derp this into play? I think we do it. Technically wins the board. Although against Arcano it means absolutely nothing. But we should at least get a block. Haha! <laughs> what was I saying? Something about we should at least get a block? <laughs> Silly me. Guess we attack. Hmm. 
Mercado. Ah, I was just gonna be like, who's this Mercado you're speaking of? We are farmers. Bum 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 bum. I bet you he's not gonna know what I'm up to. No way he knows. We're actually, like, pressuring him with his fucking 6-6. Six -six. We are farmers. That doesn't do shit. Oh, I suppose that's something. Hiya! Oh, you're talking in on your phone? Yeah, I struggle with that sometimes, too. Hiya! Guess I'll just play this? Maybe not. Nothing... <laughs> Whatever. Copper Hall Blessing gets around everything, though. And we have two. About to make them sad. I use, I use voice text all the time. You have to describe the card instead of saying it, though. They probably know exactly what we're up to, too. When we just hold up 7 power. Like, yeah, we attacked. We're holding up 7 power. What you gonna do? How about no? Quit silencing my shit. Nice. Oh, well, if we're gonna draw this, then I am into that. Just attack with him. I'll counter your Sadidi curse with Sadidi curse. Fight back, you coward! Chad, why isn't he fighting back? Hey, it's something we can kill! We're about to... We might be in trouble, though. We get two draws this turn. Uh, we'll get a draw off this, our curse. And then, um... The no attack! What? How did this happen to me? No attack, huh? Five, eight, not quite there. Just attack with the uh, good old Sadidi man. Uh, what's shit? I don't think I even want Edict of Kodosh anymore. I'm done playing with you. Let's play with something else. Uh, yeah. See ya. Who's ready for that thick-ass Diana to attack next turn? Diana coming in stonks. Big thick. Justice. Woo! Justice will be swift! 
I like how she says justice will be swift after we just stalled out our Econo opponent. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate anyone who's made it this far. If you want to hop in the Discord and just chat with me or get deck advice or just hang out, the link's down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it a ton. Uh, any like, comment, and subscribe helps me way more than you'd think. Um, apparently, whenever people like or comment and subscribe, it shows my video to more people. And then more people can like and comment and subscribe. And then it's a snowball effect. And then all of a sudden, I'm richer than Elon Musk. Just kidding. But uh, please, yeah, hook me up, fam.